through XE Digital came about because there seemed to be a lack of um, uh, conferences and really where networking can happen with digital marketers to learn and share uh, information and case studies. And so what we've done is we've tried to bring together people from the industry who have been through some of the hard yards in terms of digital, they understand how social media works. They understand what it means to build content and develop content and repurpose content and share content and story tell online. We actually source people from around the globe. So what we do is we look for good speakers because there's a lot of conferences going on around the world and what we try and do is we try and identify who are the best people from those conferences that can bring their expertise to Dublin and share their expertise with the audience here. Uh, from the beginning, uh, myself and my business partner Anthony Quigley of the Digital Marketing Institute uh, put the idea out there. Um, the feedback we got was, yeah, there's definitely a uh, a niche market for niche digital marketing conferences, so not just a digital marketing conference that covers all. We needed to split it into three specific conferences. The first was on mar uh, mobile marketing, the second is on content and uh, social media, which is at today, and the one on October 22nd is inbound and search. Uh, the one today is obviously, you know, it's a full house, there's over 450 people down there. Uh, you know, content marketeers, digital marketeers, all in the one room, which is fantastic. It's, it's beyond what we had expected, you know, we're delighted. The big next step for us in, in YouTube um, is the promotion of our, our YouTube stars. Um, and over the next five years, we see these um, YouTube stars becoming almost celebrity status. And we have seen that. I mean, people are turning up in their thousands when these guys do uh, offline events and they have millions of subscribers on their channels and they're generating content that is meaningful to their audiences and ultimately they're coming back to see content on a regular basis. Worked a lot with uh, Adrian and Anthony who are the organizers of the conference and they really are uh, very nice guys, very knowledgeable about the whole industry um, and really understand exactly what an advertiser expects to see at these kind of conferences and we've seen over the last number of years that they're evolving the conferences. So the content that you've seen 12 months ago will be entirely different and they're not just rehashing the same thing. It's really updated, um, it's cutting edge and um, ultimately it's beneficial for, for any business no matter what size you are. I think you're going to get really, really practical things from today. Um, I mean, you've got speakers like Margaret um, E. Ward who's really, really like deeply emerged in this field, you know, and she's coming at this from a very practical content perspective, you know, so like hands on, how do you put a content plan together? How do you make your content really work for you? But then if you look at some of the other speakers, we kind of like taking a bit of a step out like myself and we kind of looking at it more from a strategic level. How can digital impact business? How can it impact the bottom line? So I think a full spectrum and that's what makes this conference exciting because it helps the person entrenched in content to understand the strategic side, but it also also helps a strategic person to understand the details of what is digital, you know, and what makes up digital life. I think it's, um, it creates a sense of almost community, also a, a sense of existence, if you like, because within digital there tends to be a lot of below the line presence rather than getting out and meeting people. There's a lot of people that are at desks, aren't leaving offices and stuff like that. So I think it's a really good opportunity for the digital community to get out there mix, mingle and make new contacts. Speakers have been fantastic so far. Um, a lot of it is based around um, inbound content marketing, which is the buzzword at the moment, but actually it is what it is. It, 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 it's marketing with sense. Fabulous opportunity to network people, people you wouldn't normally get to see in the day to day and getting them all in the one room, listening to good speakers who you know, have got some different ideas and that and that's what we're all about, in, about engaging with people and looking for the new ideas and then hopefully working with those people going forward. So today I was here speaking about how to get the most out of Facebook for e retail and e-commerce clients. Um, so I was really kind of going through how to use insights to effectively drive your campaigns and how to use insights to drive creativity. Um, we also talked about a couple of new products that were released to the marketplace today as well. The title of my speech was Embracing the Frenemy, which was basically about how publishers need to embrace tools like Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and use them to their maximum ability, the targeting opportunities that they offer. 
and, and then you can actually enhance your product instead of seeing them as an enemy. They're actually a, a, a frenemy and we live in a world of co-opetition. Tools that are actually a competitor for attention are also our friend in, the, in helping us reach our audience. Yeah, it will make sense when you hear it. Uh, Anthony Quigley, who's one of the organizers of the event, reached out to me on LinkedIn, where of course I am available. And uh, we had a couple of chats and then uh, I signed on to come and have a chat here with everyone today. It's talk, uh, the talk is about uh, content marketing specifically, but I'm taking it through the lens of what we call relevance marketing, which is helping you take LinkedIn data and a sort of an intimate understanding of the individual, and then using that understanding to power your content strategy on and off LinkedIn to get the best results for your business. Um, I was talking about the culture of immediacy in social media. So I talked about the evolution of social and digital practices um, and how, um, what the expectations of today's social media users are and how to make content relevant to the consumer. I've always said that if you go to a conference, if you can leave a conference with three or four really good nuggets of information, three or four pieces of information you didn't know beforehand, that was a worthwhile investment because you can expand on that and research more. Some people are talking about you know, SEO being dead and search engine optimization is less relevant. The customer has always been relevant. So what you need to do is, if you have a story to tell, if you have a message to, to, to give out, then make sure you're telling a story and you're dealing, you're dealing with customers like they're real human beings and not trying to deal with the social media, not trying to deal with the Facebooks and the Googles and try and beat them at their own game. They have a game, they have an agenda. What you have is, you have great customer stories. Just tell the stories. Mm -hmm.